Table saws are easily one of the most dangerous tools in the shop. So dangerous that people will spend over $3,000 to take out an insurance policy to ensure that they don't cut off their fingers. By insurance policy, I mean buying a saw that won't cut a hot dog. Safety and accuracy are crucial if you have a table saw. But how do you know that your table saw is tuned properly, is accurate, and ultimately is as safe as it could possibly be? Do you cross the fingers that you hope to not cut off and hope for the best? No. Fortunately, there's a tool for that. Unfortunately, it can be expensive. About a year ago, I thought I could save some money, made a DIY version, turned out to be not very accurate. There was too much slop, too much play. It was hard to really dial in um, consistent measurements. And so I ended up throwing that sucker away. I broke down, Woodpeckers won. I gave all my money to them for this little guy and it works pretty good. By pretty good, I mean really good but it's a hundred bucks. Rockler just came out with their version and it's significantly cheaper. So if you own a table saw and you're not sure if it's aligned and tuned properly and is as safe as it possibly can be, and you're curious on which one of these you should buy, we're gonna compare them in this video. No matter what table saw you have, you should make sure that it is tuned up properly. I made this mistake. I spent, I think 600 bucks on what I thought was a really good table saw, long story. And for years, I just dealt with it until last year when it became really, really hard to cut. I checked to see how square my blade was to the miter slot, and I was out, I think, around 20 thousandths of an inch, which is a lot for a fast-moving blade that can cut your hand off. It should be one to two thousandths off. Here's what you do. You take a Sharpie, you put a dot on one tooth of the saw blade, you measure and zero out, and then you run that to the back and you see the difference. If your table saw is tuned really well, you should see zero to maybe one or two thousandths of an inch variance. If it's way off, like mine was, it could be upwards to 19 to 20 thousandths of an inch, which is gonna introduce a lot of friction heat and ultimately introduce more chances of kickback. You just don't wanna play around with that. Enter the need for one of these guys that can help you accurately measure what that tolerance is without any play. Accuracy and quality and consistency is key with a tool like this. That's where my DIY version fell short. The Rockler Gauge right now, which is brand new, is about 60 bucks on their website. If you sign up for the newsletter, you can get free shipping, or if there's a Rockler close by, you can obviously walk in the store and get one if they have it available. The Woodpeckers is a little more expensive. And by a little, I mean about double the price. Usually it's about $100, $99.99. A few weeks ago, it dropped down to $79.99 on special. So sometimes you can get it for 80 bucks. When I bought mine, I got it for $89. But then you're gonna have to pay shipping and taxes, all that stuff. If I were to buy one today, it would cost me $121 to my door. I could get a Rockler for $60 to my door with a little bit of taxes involved. And if you've ever bought anything from Woodpeckers, you know it takes a while for them to ship to you. So you gotta factor that in. Now there are some similarities between these two. The dial indicators are very similar quality and they're, they don't feel cheap. They're pretty accurate and I like them. For a DIY person or someone in their workshop, I think these are perfectly fine. They're reliable. They've worked for me. They're pretty good. Now there are some differences. Before we get into that, I think it's time for a word from today's sponsor. Pause. How many people do you think just skipped through? Should we just wait like 15 seconds and then when they get to the next 15 seconds, we start again? That'd be kind of funny. Actually, there is no sponsor to this video. No one's paying me to say any of this stuff. But today's sponsor is James. James used to be my neighbor and was one of the first people to introduce me to woodworking and help me uh, get addicted to a bunch of tools. Thanks for that. And he actually bought this a few weeks ago. It took forever for them to ship it, so he canceled it and bought this and then surprised me by sending it to me, allowing me to borrow it to make this video, and I'm gonna shoot it back to him. So technically, if there is a sponsor to this video, it's James because he paid for this. So if you do James a favor, would you scroll on down and uh, give this video a like? Not for me, of course, not for me or my ego or none of that, but for James to say, thanks James. The Woodpeckers comes with a really nice case. 
on Rockler's website, they say it comes with a case, and what they mean is you just use the box. So there is no official case other than just reusing the packaging, which for half the price, I guess that's understandable. Another difference is obviously Woodpeckers is made out of machined aluminum. The fit and finish is really nice. It's all metal. And with Rockler, you're, you know, not going to be paying for metal. It's like a some type of injection molded plastic. Um, it's super hard and durable. I think it's fine. And that part is really not the part that moves. And so I think that's okay. Those are the main differences. Here's the pros for the Rockler. The dial gauge is high quality. The price is half of that of the Woodpeckers. You can get it with free shipping, or if you're near a store, you can go in and get it today. And if you need to check your saw today and you're near one, that's a big pro. The con is you have to dial in the miter slot just a little bit with an Allen wrench. Not a big deal, but it takes a little bit of time. And of course, there is no proper case. You just reuse the packaging and, you know, most of it is plastic. The pros for Woodpecker is obvious. The dial gauge is high quality. It's made out of machined aluminum, really nice that you would expect from Woodpecker. Comes with a nice case. But my favorite part about this is the genius kind of self-centering miter slot bars. Uh, I think this design is brilliant and beautiful and it's my favorite feature out of the Woodpecker's saw gauge. And it's the main reason why I bought it, that I don't have to worry about always dialing in the miter slot it just works and for me that was worth the extra money of course the cons are it's double the price it's really expensive and even if you order it today it would probably be weeks before it ships to you so if you're in a hurry you might be out of luck you're probably you are out of luck if you're in a hurry which one of these is right for you are you team red or are you team blue is the self-centering feature all metal design in case worth double the money? Or is this a good option to get some accuracy while saving some money and using the packaging for its case? If I were to buy these again today, I really don't know which one I would buy. I'm really torn between the all metal design case and the self-centering feature of the Woodpeckers, but the price of the Rockler is really appealing and I'm really stuck. I would love to know what you think. Which one would you buy if you were buying one today? Just comment below, which is, if you don't know where the comments are, you go right past the like button. You know, you hit that for James. If you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button, but make sure you hit it twice. It only works when you hit it twice. If you like what I'm doing here, do you know that you have the power to change this number? You can go down, hit the red subscribe button, and it keeps you in the loop for future videos. Of course, table saw alignment is only one piece of the puzzle when having a safe table saw setup as safe as possible. One component is having a high quality blade that doesn't dull easily. If you haven't heard about CMT saw blades, they are industrial quality blades for big box store price. Check out this video. Peace.